Is this a red flag? You moved in together after five months of knowing him? Then he cried because he couldn't track you and catch you cheating. Because he knows you will. Yes, huge red flag. Girl. I don't comment much but op my ex was like this and I downloaded the damn thing too. Eventually that wasn't good enough either. His mind would still create scenarios of me cheating. Of course it started fights eventually that got worse and worse and then one day in a fit of rage on the topic he slammed me to the ground and broke my spine. And he's a small guy. I wish I could turn back time and run. Location flag 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 from one sister to another. Please listen to us who have been here. Everyone saw what I couldn't. What I justified. You've only known him for 7 months and moved in together at 5 months. Whose idea was it? Oh hell no. Where's that red flag emoji? Anybody who so badly needs to track your whereabouts 24-7 has got serious issues. Whether he's massively insecure or massively controlling I don't know. But neither is good. Saying that you're going to cheat is highly insulting and really an excuse to treat you like an a moral cheater. Set boundaries while you still can. Please listen to everyone who is responding. Sometimes you just have to throw the whole guy out and start over. This is absolutely one of those times. Beyond a red flag. This is a just a glimpse of the trauma you are going to be put through if you stay with this person. You deserve better. He guilt tripped you on purpose. He will likely resort to violence when you try to set future boundaries. Leave ASAP and please don't buy unto him trying to make you stay with another fake emotionally. Charged expression. He just admitted to you that he didn't trust you at all and wants to keep you monitored at all times. And that he doesn't care about your feelings as much as his. Genuinely afraid for your safety. You moved in after only being together 5 months. And now he's basically putting a GPS collar around your neck. And you have to ask if this is a red flag? Run. Run 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 run. You are in serious danger right now. This is the beginning of an abusive relationship. Get out now. Your gut feeling is 100% right. Please listen to it. They are always the most amazing person you've ever met. I bet you they even tell you so themselves location flag because it's an act. They fall madly in love and just know so quickly that you're the one. So why not move in at 5 months location flag because acting is hard and now that you live together and are committed, it's harder to leave. Well of course you're a cheater. In fact, any time you don't give me 100% of your time and attention, you're cheating. Oh you say you're not? Not good enough because I say so. Now you have to. Location flag because they say so. Yet again. What wonderful circular logic. It's exhausting to be subjected to and providing your location only gives them more material to try. It out on. Blubbering? Like an inconsolable toddler? Must be all your fault you evil person location flag because you won't bend to their will and be controlled just because they say so you are not some plaything to be monitored and controlled next level up is suicide threats the hallmark of coercive control don't fall for it please this book can help i'm so sorry that i'm being blunt but i really want you to take this seriously and get out before it gets worse i'm genuinely scared for you he started to cry and said you're going to cheat? Girl, you need to run. You don't want to spend your life with this insecure child. Huge red flag. He's not even pretending it's for your safety. They usually at least make a pit stop at that excuse for some amount of time. But no he's straight up telling you he's going to use it to spy on you constantly. And then I'll tell you what he'll do. He'll question every goddamn move you ever make. 
you'll be interrogated non-stop, sometimes only passive-aggressively or very subtly. But there will be a constant subtext running through everything he says where he's trying to piece together something he saw in your movements or catch you in a lie. Do not do it. Truing to soothe insecurity by giving in to controlling requests only makes it worse. It's like feeding a black hole. The demands will never stop. He'll always want more. More control. More surveillance. More explaining yourself. More of you not going places or seeing friends, family. Also, don't date insecure men. Every controlling or abusive man out there was. And still is. An insecure man. Every single one. Delete the app. Then delete your name off the lease. Then delete him. That paragraph has more red flags than a Chinese army parade. Come on. You know this is a red flag on fire with red flags sticking out of it. GTFO ASAP. As someone who deals with crippling paranoia and anxiety, I can tell you that this isn't going to get any better. This dude is probably worse than me. I know you want to make it work. Especially because you two now live together. But I can tell you that these paranoid delusions he has will only get worse. The sobbing thing is what tells me more than anything that you're dealing with someone with extreme emotional trauma most likely from being cheated on in the past not making excuses for his behavior. I'm just saying that he's going to project his trauma, paranoia and insecurities onto you and then it's going to be your problem. Not good. Big red flag. When you wear rose-colored glasses, red flags just look like flags. He is setting you up for abuse and manipulation. This isn't normal behavior. Leave. Red flag. This gives coercive control vibes. If you could see you and him working long term I'd have a frank conversation now and tell him that. He's going to have to trust you unconditionally. If he has trust issues because of a prior breakup then he'd likely benefit from therapy for it. If he's not willing to do either then I'd call it there. Because this is him on his best behavior girl. Good lord. He's starting your control. Time to tell him what a mistake it was to move in so soon. This would be the beginning of your end. I'm so sorry. Yeah bud. You need to run. This kind of behavior just gets progressively worse as the relationship goes on. Not to make you feel worse or anything. But you should also expect some light to medium stalking once you break things off with him. It will suck at the time. But it will be your confirmation that you dodged a bullet. That's not a little weird. That's a huge red flag. That guy is two weeks away from showing up unexpected and threatening everyone near you. Isolating you and possibly being a serial killer. That's an exaggeration. But he clearly has huge abandonment issues he needs to work on with a psychologist. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.